Hi, and welcome back to Chef Hacker Kitchen. Today we're going to do a great little appetizer called sausage and pepper pinwheels. It just uses a few ingredients. It's lots of fun and it's great for entertaining. First ingredient is Luganega sausage, which is an Italian fresh pork sausage. It usually comes um, sold in this kind of a coil here. It's uh, the unique characteristic of this from regular sausage is that it's very thin. Um, red and green pepper, uh, sweet onion, and uh, when you purchase these vegetables, try and get some that are rather on the large side, because later on we're going to need to wrap these around that little sausage, so bigger pieces will work better. And we're going to go ahead and, and, and connect all that with these uh, toothpicks, so you'll need toothpicks as well. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is heat up a pan. I'm going to use cast iron because uh, I'm going to be looking for some really good color on the sausage that we're going to cook in the pan. Okay, the other thing we're going to do is we are going to set our broiler to high because we're going to use the broiler to go ahead and uh, char up the vegetables. Now, if we were doing this on the grill, we would just throw the sausage on the grill. I'd probably put some long um, bamboo sticks through it to hold it flat. Um, like a pancake and I throw it on the grill and I'd also take the vegetables and throw them right on the grill as well But since we're doing this inside, we're going to use a pan and the broiler Okay, so our pan is somewhat heated up and we're going to go ahead and lay in our um, Luganega sausage All right, get a little bit of sizzle out of it. I'm not using any fat in this pan um, because I prefer to have it render just into from the Luganega. Uh, that's a kind of a good way to do it. And then I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to put just a few little holes in the sausage. And what's going to happen is eventually some fat is going to render out of that. Okay, now we're going to let that brown a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of water in there. Then I'll cover it flip it over and let it to continue to cook. Now in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get the vegetables ready. All right, so we've washed and dried our peppers and I'm going to go ahead and put them on this cast iron pan and we're going to shoot them under the broiler to get them nice and blistery and warm them up. And then once it comes out of the broiler, we're going to put it in this bowl and we're going to cover it with this lid and let it sit. Not only will that have gotten these um, uh, skins nice and brown, uh, but also it will soften up so that we're going to be able to wrap it around the uh, sausage later on. Okay, here we go. All right, so I think we are, yeah, we're pretty nicely browned on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Kind of makes it easy when it's all in a in a coil like that. You can just go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to let this brown a little bit. Uh, and then um, when I got that side nice and brown, I'm going to add a little liquid. I'll, I'll just use water. I'm going to go ahead and put a dome cover on there and I'm going to let that sausage continue to cook. Okay, but for now, we're just going to let it brown. All right. So let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, there we go. Those are blistering nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. In fact, I think I'm going to reverse them also. All right. Back under the broiler, probably another five minutes or so, and they'll be ready, but it's always good to watch them. Things could change quickly under a broiler. I did flip the peppers two more times so that they'd be browned and blistered on all four sides. To prep the onion, we're going to go ahead and peel it. And if you spend any time on this channel or on the Chef Hacker Kitchen website, you know that I don't throw out these onion peels. I put them in the freezer and then they find their way into uh, a pot of stock or to flavor the inside of maybe poultry. Put them off to the side. I'm just going to cut this in half um, along with the grain, so to speak. And that's going to go into the broiler um, to brown and to cook through as soon as the peppers are done. 
Okay, so it looks like our sausage is browned nicely. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so it's going to be a little bit exciting, I think. I'm going to pour in some liquid, and I'm going to cover it with a dome lid. And because my pan is so big, the lid I'm using is actually the lid from an old wok. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and lower that, and we're going to let that continue to cook, and it should be ready for us shortly. All right, peppers should be ready. Yeah, they look great. Okay, now I'm going to take those and I'm going to transfer them to this bowl. And I'm going to put this lid on them and I'm just going to let them sit on the side uh, so that they will uh, soft, soften up. Whoops, they will soften up. Make sure you never grab a hot cast iron pan without a towel. They will soften up. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the onions, which I prepped in an earlier step, and I'm going to go ahead and put them on here and I'm going to toast them as well all right and right now the kitchen is just full of this wonderful full smell of uh, semi burned peppers and browning sausage and soon we'll have some onion aroma as well it's just really wonderful okay our sausage has been cooking low on low for about oh I don't know maybe 20 minutes and we see that both sides are nice and brown so that's done. So I'm going to let a lot of this um, uh, juice strip off. Now if you pick this up, be very careful. You don't want it to rip. We're going to uh, cut it later, but we want to cut it in nice controlled um, sizes. So, uh, But we're going to go ahead right now and let it cool while the uh, rest of the vegetables are completing. Then we'll be ready for assembly. Just like with the peppers, I flip the onions to brown the second side. These have been sitting covered and it looks like they're nice and soft. So we're going to go ahead and prep them and get them ready for final assembly. Now, the trick in doing this is to make sure the peppers are soft enough so that they'll wrap around the sausage, but not so soft that they fall apart. It's better to underdo it in the broiler and, uh, and then you know they'll continue to cook when they're sitting. And then when you get ready to do this, if you find that you're getting a lot of breakage because there is, um, they're too hard, then you can always just throw them in the oven for a few minutes or um, the microwave for a minute or two. Uh, just be careful. So the first thing we do is we pull off any of the loose skin. You can leave some of the brown marks on it. It'll be fine. We're going to do that to both the uh, red and green peppers. And okay, so that's got the, uh, that's pretty much got the skin off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut the pepper in half as best I can. And you should be prepared for a lot of liquid to flow out. Um, actually, that liquid is quite tasty, but we don't use it for this recipe. I often thought about saving that and then adding it to other recipes in the future, but um, that's a little bit too much of a uh, stretch, even for somebody who me, like me who tends to use every bit of the food that we... So okay. The red one is done. Now I'll work on the green one. Cut that in half. Actually, this is this will be fine. It's actually cooked almost perfectly. Okay, remove these seeds. Okay, just clean my board a little bit. Get 
it's kind of a messy job. Now, in cutting the peppers, what you want to do is the curved end is kind of hard to deal with, so we'll cut that off. And then you're looking for pieces that will be uh, the right size to wrap around. So I usually cut this way. And you don't want them to be too thin. You want them to be able to stand up to the toothpick and bend. So that would probably do it, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up cutting these in half. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut those in half. And then move them over to a plate. Looks like I got about 16 there. Okay. So, we have the red and green peppers are just about ready to go. Next I'll work on the onion. The onions have been sitting, covered, uh, cooling down for about 15 minutes and I think they feel like they're about ready. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a cut and see what happens. Now these you have to be a little bit careful. You want to have some pretty wide uh, cuts. Depending on how thick your onion is, you may only get um, two or three slices. All right, so that's one. Here comes two. Now we're probably going to have extra onion and pepper um, after we assemble. After we assemble this uh, appetizer, that's okay. I simply put them in the refrigerator and use them in another recipe. This is a little hot here yet. That's okay. All right. Perfect. Transfer them to the plate. Yeah, I think these are going to work nicely. Let me cut these in half as well. Some of them look kind of big. You'll see what I mean later on. Okay. All right. So next we're going to cut up our sausage. This was a 12 ounce piece of sausage. So I'll try and cut them in about half inch pieces. Um, and that will look like about that. What is that about? I don't know, three quarters of an inch maybe. And... Um, that is probably, by the time you add the onion and the red and green pepper, that should be a good size for a nice bite-size appetizer. Okay. Transfer them to our plate. Once again, I will clean up my workspace, and with the addition of the sausage, we're ready to assemble our appetizer. All right, so we have our mise en place ready to go. We have our toothpicks, our pepper, our onion, our sausage, and now it's time to assemble. So let's see how we do that. Okay, first, take a piece of pepper. Put it, put it on the, put the, uh, um, toothpick through it. Then you take a piece of onion. Do the same thing. These nice long strips. Finally, you take a piece of sausage. You put it through. The clip, the uh, toothpick should not go all the way through because what you're going to do is you're going to fold around the pepper and the onion. And I like to put whichever piece is bigger on the outside and it kind of stays together then. And there you have it. That is your sausage and pepper pin roll. Let's see if we can do it with one of these red ones. Uh, I think I might have mentioned already, this is probably the toughest part of this recipe is the assembly. It kind of takes a little bit of time, um, but you can do it ahead of time. Um, I like to do it ahead of time and put it on a cookie sheet 
with uh, either a piece of parchment paper or aluminum foil underneath. Uh, even do them the day before and put them in the refrigerator and then right before you're ready to serve them, uh, put them in an oven about 375 degrees till they warm through and that's it. So there's your sausage and pepper pin pinwheel. All right, I'm going to keep going with this and um, um, we'll see you on the other side. That's sausage and pepper pinwheels. It's a little bit tedious getting them on the toothpick, but uh, once you get them, they're ready to go. You can eat them right away, or if you want to make them for a party, you can always make them ahead of time. Put them on a tray with some parchment paper or aluminum foil, and then heat them up right before you're ready to serve them. Okay, that's it for us today. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, and, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any comments, if you make this, you have, if you have some other ideas about it, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. I love reading your comments. I'll see you next time in Chef Hacker's Kitchen.